Arthur. Are you busy, Arthur? Why? Well, I know you think I'm just some effete buffoon. What? A man of words and not of action. Hardly a man at all. Well, I think you're as slippery as an eel in an oil slick, but still a man. Because I think I've... I've found something interesting. Yeah? Have you ever robbed a stagecoach? No, never. I would have even thought. Of course I robbed a goddamn stagecoach. You know I have. And what's the problem with stagecoaches? The armed man attempting to put a bullet in your head? Not quite. The odds. I mean, is it worth the robbing? Sometimes. I know. But, well, if you'd like to come with me, I can introduce you to a new best friend, and he's he's going to give you all the decent, robbable stagecoaches a hot-blooded degenerate could require. Well, I could require a whole lot. So where do we find this friend of yours? Roads. Because what can possibly go wrong there? Well, lead the way and we'll find out. You sure seem to have got about round here. You know me. I like to make friends in low places. How the hell you end up down here anyway? I could ask the same of you. I have a few commitments over this way. Some expenses to meet. Expenses? What expenses? Gentlemen's canes and rabbits to pull out of hats? Among other things, I had quite a nice little business going for a while. Shares in a gold mining company. Excellent returns for the investor of a certain financial standing. Until, well, that unfortunate run-in with the law. Yeah, that's how it goes. Thanks for disappearing on us during that Sean business, by the way. I'd done my part. Each to their strengths, dear boy. You know... You boys should really watch yourselves with those two families. This is a small town. People talk. I tried to mention it to Osea, but you know how he is. Anyway, while they're off chasing their pot of Confederate gold hidden at the end of some rainbow, let me present you with something real. So, where exactly are we going? The train station. The clerk there, Alden, is quite a fellow. Very informed on the comings and goings of coaches round these parts. Here we are. We can hitch up outside. I'll make the introductions, Arthur. Come on. Hang back a bit and let me do the talking. We don't want to scare him off. Hello, Alden. Hello, Josiah. How have you been? Dandy. And you, friend? Uh, like I said, times are tough. My missus is a bad woman. Terrible woman. They often are. But how's work, Alden? Terrible. Wages got cut again. They reckon they just invented a new horse's carriage will be the end of us. <laughs> They've been saying that nonsense since they invented the wheel. The witness of bosses. I know. My comrades here and I are greatly discouraged from the adequate fulfillment of our duty. A discouraged man is no man at all, Alden. No man at all. My friend Arthur here as a present for you. Here. Ain't you kind, sir. Call him Arthur. He's one of us, a fellow man of distinction. Okay, well, this is perfect timing. I think you'll like this one, Josiah. It'll be coming south down the river road through Siltwater Strand. Thank you, Alden. Thank you very much. Oh, and Josiah, if you or Arthur are ever out Strawberry Way, ask for my colleague there. Feller called Hector. He's also one of the... what did you call us again? 
discouraged men, Alden. That's it, discouraged men. I like that. Well, goodbye, Alden, or should I say, adieu. Oh, adieu, Josiah. <laughs> What the hell was that? I thought you might like to see that pantomime. River Road through Siltwater Strand, he said. Okay. I think I know a good spot to wait. Follow me. Come on, girl. Easy, girl. You're okay. What did I tell you? Simple as can be. Seems a lot of the station workers are in on it these days. Earning a pittance, the unions are whipping them up, so they want something on the side. Like he said, there, strawberry. Could create a lot of opportunities for a man in your line of work. I ain't sure about going back to strawberry after all that market business. Didn't sound like you left anyone alive to recognize you, so I wouldn't worry too much. Dear boy, all this trouble, you gentlemen are becoming quite the celebrities, aren't you? Soon you'll be on the front of a dime novel. And dead, of course. We're hoping to be long gone before that. Dutch has a plan. If anything goes wrong, let's meet back here at this crossroad, okay? All right. This is the spot. Okay, this should do. Sure. Here. I'm hoping we won't need those. Well, better safe than sorry. So what were you thinking? Well, according to this, the loot is located in a strong box, which is in the back. I'll put on a little performance, and you can scurry around, open the strong box, and relieve them of their goodies. And how do I open the strong box without threatening someone to open it for me? This should work. <laughs> and I can do this silently? Well, I'm hoping complete silence won't be necessary. But you're going to wish you had your earplugs. This is Damson. Oh, very good, Alden, very good. Of course, if anything goes wrong, you can wave your guns around like you normally do. Hold tight. They'll be here soon. There it is. Right on time. Let's go. Keep your distance so they don't see you. And please leave that gun in its holster for once. I'll ride ahead and get the coach to stop. You hang back. Don't let them spot you or you'll scupper the whole thing. Mind my singing? Not at all. I'm preparing for you. It's a free country. <laughs> Did you say a show? <laughs> it's a small benefit. Give black water. Mrs. Chester Damson. <laughs> I flattered, buddy. Now stop the coach, my good man! Stop the coach! Whoa! Miss Dempsey, why did you stop seeing? The New York There we go. They were rather cruel. New Yorkers are freaks and fools who believe Westerners don't know anything about culture. I couldn't agree more. You. It's it's such a small show, but 
Would you see something for me? I'm looking for a Lepsis brown. No, I, 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 I don't know. Miss Damson, you owe it to West Elizabeth. You three, no lasciar, no lasciar, verdi. Third of this month, I can't say enough. But Mrs. Damson, my meat So sorry, gentlemen, for the interruption. Farewell. Easy there. Arthur, a little finesse for once. Well done, sir. Well done. It was easy. You did all the work. Teamwork, my dear boy. Teamwork. Here you go. Thank you. Oh, it's always good. Go see Alden from time to time. See you soon, Arthur. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly. But you know how I am in a fight, huh? <laughs> like a cornered tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but... We got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things. Like gentlemen. Gentlemen. Yeah. Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course. It's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Hmm. As you say, it's a long time ago, Dutch.
Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Mount up then, Morgan. Let's go then. You know, I've been fighting Calm for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Well, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us? Because of Blackwater? And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then, then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head, hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts and O'Driscoll? There is wisdom in that. Well, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look, you ain't even going to be the one in danger. We'll get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm. Unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Hey, up there. Men on the ridge. Old Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like having eyes on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. <laughs> Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. I just... I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I... I dream too big. Caring too much. That's my problem. Caring too much? There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. Micah might be full of shit. Como Driscoll might be full of shit. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're gonna peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. Come on! Yep. You done good, girl. Easy, easy.
Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Hmm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, this is a charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. Whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. You always loved the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? got a sense. <laughs> Handing him over to the lots. I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella <laughs> coming right, we can draw them all back. True. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a town, I think, to speak to the law. That has to be crap. It ain't worth the risk. Colum's got a sense about Vanderlyn. He can play him. Once he realizes we got his man here, they'll all come right into the trap. Mark my words. And then we can head off, free as birds. I hope so. <laughs> He's escaping, shoot him! Relax, relax. I got him. I got him. Did I kill you? Oh, not yet. <laughs> no, of course not. Not yet. But I will. Finally! Put his weapons over there! Morgan. It's good to see you. Uh, hello, Cole. <laughs> How's Woo? I hardly feel it. You will. <laughs> Septic. Nice. Now, tell me. Fine gun like you. Uh, why are you uh, still running around with old Dutch? Could come ride with me and make real money. It ain't about the money, Comb. No, no. It's Dutch's famous car. Uh, uh, you killed a whole bunch of my boys. Six point guy. I ain't got no clue what you're talking about. Oh, you lie, my friend. And I thought Dutch preached true. Let me go, Comb. And end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it. They get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you. Grab all of you and hand you in. Then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad. 
he gonna come raging over here. And a whole lot of you. And the law will be waiting for him. Arthur. <laughs> Arthur. I missed you. <laughs> Another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. <laughs> Holding Morgan in the cellar. 
My dear boy, what? They got me. Uh, I got away. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He was gonna set the law on us. No, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan. Mr. Morgan, you're safe now. Oh, let's get him to bed. You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. Oh, I got you. You're safe now. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, River. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. <laughs> <laughs> 